Hi there. Uh, I'm just continuing off into this new video uh, talking about the Barry and Honey Sherman murder case. Now, I recently went back to the neighborhood and I started asking a person that led very close to Old Colony Road. Uh, 50 Old Colony Road as it was once known and is now 48 Old Colony Road. I spoke with a Sherman neighbor and that person told me that she never believed that uh, Barry and Honey Sherman were murdered by the walking man or the walking man suspect. That neighbor told me that she always suspected that that person was just essentially a random passerby, as I've been saying, <laughs> right? But what she also said is that there was a very early news story of a cop, of a Toronto police officer, stealing from the Shermans, right? They stole the watch. So... There must have been an early article from Toronto Sun or someone stating that one of the cops stole the watch or there was, or, or there was misconduct within Toronto police. So that's really disturbing, right? Because you could check the ITOs on the case and see if, if there was a cease and desist and they took the video down or they took the article down. But I also remember being on Kevin Donovan's Q&A for the Shermans it was, a, it was a question and answer, a Q&A, and he took down a comment, if I remember, about a watch. Interesting. Okay, so based on current news events, there ha we, it's already been proven. You know, this guy named Boris Borisov has been illegally selling watches. There is an illegal market of luxury watches. So, I don't, I've go again, I don't know if Boris Borisov was tied to the Sherman case. Probably not. But it shows you someone in Toronto Police is selling illegal watches. Okay. Well, I also went to the Toronto Rolex store, and I know that regardless if you're a billionaire, there's a cap on how much you can spend on Rolex watches, on how much you can get it made for. It's about a million dollars. So if you sell an illegal watch, right, you're, you're going to drastically reduce the price in order to make a profit from it. If it's a million dollar watch, I would not be surprised if you pocketed a hundred thousand dollars, right? Ninety percent of the the money just goes down into a black hole and you never see it again. But because you stole the watch, you don't care, right? So the neighbor told me about the watch. It's possible that Kevin Donovan from the Toronto Star knows about the watch. And you know, seven years later, why is it? Why don't they want to come to the public with more information? You know, I think that's very sketchy, and I think it's weird. I think the Toronto police are looking very sketchy right now. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure that the Toronto police are just going to allow this to become a cold case. But don't forget. Don't forget the watch. Because if they bring that up, I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now that I know. Right? There's other people that know. So if they try to play this off like they're the good guys, no. That's not how this works. If one of your police officers either stole the watch, which is highly unethical, or stole or killed the Shermans. If a Toronto police officer killed the Shermans, then there's nothing you can tell the public that's going to satisfy our pro like our anger, right? If they're going to kill two billionaires, then the Toronto police can kill anyone. And that's what I want to know. I want to know wh whether Honey Sherman's Rolex watch was stolen because before there was the demolition of the house, there was drywall torn up. There was holes punched in the walls. So it wasn't some international hitman that would have just shot Barry and Honey Sherman, Barry and Honey Sherman in the head and been done with it. Um, the house was raided. The house was raided. Right, Officer Victor Saruti, TPS, you know, Division Fifty Three Officer Victor Saruti. He was online talking about how the Sherman neighborhood near North York, there were robberies around that time. Right, there were robberies. So then, why did the Toronto Police get? you know, international warrants. Why are they looking overseas? Because the ITOs are a complete waste of time. That's why. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it at there. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.